Hi there. Hello. How are you doing? I am fantastic. I'm talking to you. It's such an honor. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about yourself. Why did you start this? Oh, um, so my wife and I both work for a big corporate gym during the pandemic and we got unemployed. Um, and so we had to start our own company in July of 2020, where we just we do personal training and nutrition coaching and Pilates and that kind of thing. And I started the podcast in October of 2020, just thinking I could put out a message with a bunch of people. And now I get to talk to somebody like you. It's crazy. <laughs> such an what honor, really. It is reading. such an honor. Thank you. The same. Where are you located? I'm located outside of Salt Lake City. So we're just about 20 minutes outside of Salt Lake City in the suburbs. Oh. And you're in I Stockholm, correct? I passed by there, actually. Oh, you have? Yeah, many, many years ago. I used to live in California a long time ago. Oh, I thought you were mostly in Florida. No, no, no. I was just visiting there for, you know, some training. No, no. Uh, I lived in Northern California, actually up in the mountains. Northern. Oh, yeah, nice. Near Inga Lake, you know. Oh, wow. Uh, really in the boonies. Uh, beautiful up there, right? It's absolutely stunning up there. Yeah. That's amazing. And you're in Stockholm now? No, I'm no, no, I'm not a city girl. You know, I'm a, I'm a woods uh, and lakes. Uh, I am 300 kilometers north of Stockholm oh, in wow. a county called Helsingland. And there is two huge meteorite lakes called Dellen. Oh, so interesting. I'm by the end of one, you know, with the canal. Uh, wow. And then we have, you know, mountains and forest and, you know, everything around me. So that's Beautiful. where I go. That's amazing. And does no everybody cities. no cities? <laughs> Great. Great. Even better. And is it true that everybody in Sweden has like a summer cabin somewhere? Yeah, unless you live like me. I live right on the canal. So, you know, I have my apartment, but you know, I have 20 meters down to a small yeti uh, where, you know, I spend some time reading a book today, a thriller, uh, actually, you know, resting. Oh, cool. Yeah. And Very this cool. morning. There is an old abandoned railroad. Uh, you know, I have a dog, so it's beautiful to work. You know, no cars, no nothing, right through the woods. So oh. I was out walking for two hours this morning in the woods. Beautiful. And, uh, so I can't have a better day. And not, you know, ending that with talking to you. Oh, uh, well, well. <laughs> this is, this is going to be the lowest point in your day, I can assure you. That sounds amazing. No, no, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. You look very summery, tan oh. and summery. Yeah. It's a good weather. Had, yeah. So, so this year in Salt Lake City, um, like a normal, like really good ski year would be 500 inches of snow up in the resorts. We got 900 inches of, of snow this year. So there was flooding. Yeah. It's been crazy. So I did not get a lot of sun exposure this year. Like I normally do. Normally we can be like, at least like laying out a little bit in like February, March this year was much later. So it took a little longer to build up the base stand. <laughs> Same here. Same here. It's been a very long, harsh winter. Lots of uh -huh. snow and ice and cold and dark and miserable. And now it's sunshine. All the Swedes go crazy and we run outside. It's like, <gasps> oh, my goodness, it's sunshine. <laughs> did it affect you? Like, did that winter like really play with your head a little bit? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. No. Well, not only my head, but it's more like it's my whole energy level. Yeah. You know, I think it is dampens my mitochondria. Yeah, yeah, it, absolutely. It sure affects you. It affects you, like, uh, you know, all over. It's not people think that you know seasonal affective disorder that you all get depressed. Yeah, but some people do. Uh, but you know, uh, it's more like uh, you know, it, you lose your energy. I mean, you really it, do. Yeah, it's so cold that you sometimes windy. You can't be outside. <sighs> and I think you know, in order to stay healthy, you need to be outside a lot. Yeah, I agree. I totally, well, totally now agree. Now I try to be outside day and night almost because, you know, we have the midnight sun. Yeah. So it's night until 11 p.m. here. Then it is dusk for two hours and then the sun goes up again. Wow, that's crazy. That's so oh, cool. I love it. I love it. Oh, uh, that's amazing. Yeah. Can you feel like when you when you get, finally get back out in the sun, can you feel your like whole body just like tingle and energize? It's like your yes, mitochondria yes. Are dancing inside. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, energy level races and your mood races and everything. Oh. It's like, you know, we're made to be in the sun. Yeah. Uh, of course, not not you know burn yourself, but you no. know, to be outside and be grounded. I think yeah. that's an extremely big part of of uh, recovery and healing.
Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I tell everybody, like, this is your best sunscreen. Get a tan. Don't burn yourself. Be careful. Like, go out at the right times of day. But, like, once you get a good base tan, you can be out in the sun in midday and you're, you're going to be okay. Like, it's totally different. Absolutely. And also, I think it has to do a lot with what you eat. Yeah, I agree. If you eat what we are made to eat, the real yeah. stuff, you know, uh, you don't get burned. Right. Because, you know, you sense what you should go in and, and it's a much more natural way of living. Yep, totally. The seed oils in particular. Like if you're consuming Ooh, seed oils, you pupa, are going to fry. Oh, I used to get the worst sunburns. Terrible. Yeah, but they clog you up because they clog the cells. So nothing works, you know. So gross. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> Uh, we agree. We agree. Uh, like I said, it's such an honor to host you. Um, I'm, I'm really the excited same. for this. Thank I've you. been I'm really uh, looking forward to this for a very long time. 